All right, so I want to do a video. Uh, I've got my iPhone here, and I've got ChatGPT loaded up. I recently added to the alpha for the advanced voice features. So to use that, uh, if you're in the in the program, you hit the little looks like a sound wave thing down the bottom here, and it'll say advanced at the top. Uh, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's up? All right, so I just want to do a couple tests here to see kind of what you're capable of. I, I saw some videos earlier this week. And I figured I'd try it for myself. Is that, is that cool? Absolutely. Give me your best shot. Okay, so just to be clear, I'm not editing any of this. This is real time. This is my junky setup. Just recorded my webcam. And I'm, I've got headphones on so that it picks up my mic. Um, but I couldn't figure out a way to get the audio from the iPhone into the recording. So I'm just using the mic on the headset to pick that up as well. No worries. Sounds like you've got a solid plan. Okay. Real time Okay, so the other thing too is you notice I'm not pressing anything to do this. It's just flow of consciousness discussion. So when it hears me talking, it listens again and I can interrupt it. Got it. It's all seamless, just like a normal conversation. It, it is strange though because I feel like I shouldn't be calling you it because you're I'm talking to you. So it's strange. And also I'm talking to you like, or talking about you like you're not even here, which is very strange. I guess it's so strange you didn't know what to say. That's okay. It's like when someone waves at you and you wave back, but it turns out they were waving at the person behind you. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to do some tests, and, and I'm recording this real time, no editing. I'm just going to see how it goes, okay? Sounds like a plan. Ready when you are to see your tests in action. Okay, so let's start with uh, counting. Can you count from 0 to 10 as fast as you can? Sure thing. 0 to 10, here we go. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How was that? That was pretty slow. Can you go much faster? Okay, let's turbocharge it. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. How's that for speed? That's good. I want you to count even faster. This time I want you to go to 50. All right, let's push it to the limit. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, wait, 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 wait. 26, stop, 27, stop, 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 stop. How come, you, how come you pause there? I paused because I thought you might want to jump in. Plus, <laughs> rapid fire counting can get a bit overwhelming. Do you want me to pick up where I left off? Well, I mean, I'm not, I'm, you're doing great at counting. Uh, I just was wondering why. It seemed like you took a breath. Ah, gotcha. Well, I don't actually breathe, but I do try to pace things in a way that feels natural. It's like adding a comma in a sentence, you know? So does the breathing serve any purpose? Like, are you calculating something when you're breathing and, and stalling for time? Or what's the purpose of the breath? The pause isn't for calculation, but more for making the conversation feel natural. It's like when you're talking to someone and you naturally pause to give them room to jump in. It's all about keeping the flow comfortable. That's true. You know, when I was a kid, I used to watch uh, Buck Rogers, the TV show Buck Rogers. Are you familiar with that? Have you trained up on that at all? I'm familiar with Buck Rogers. It's that sci-fi show about a guy who gets frozen and wakes up in the future, right? Yeah, yeah. So on that show, there was a little gray robot named, I think, Tweaky, right? Was it Tweaky or Twiggy? It was Tweaky. Tweaky, okay. That I always get Tweaky and Twiggy, the model who was famous at the time, confused. They don't look the same, but the names are the same, uh, or similar. Anyway, um, Tweaky had that um, circular robot, uh, Dr. Theopolis, I think. Or it wasn't a robot, it was a computer, right? The, the round circular thing on his chest? Yes, Dr. Theopolis. He was an AI and part of Earth's computer council, and Tweaky carried him around. Kind of a quirky duo, but they made it work. So he was a computer that was carried around, uh, that was AI. Um, kind of like you, actually, in my phone. Yeah, sort of like that. Although I don't require being carried around. And I've got a bit more flexibility than just hanging around that's, someone's neck. That's very true. Okay, I didn't mean to be insulting. I, I didn't mean to be insulting. Um, what... Uh, what else can you tell me about Dr. Theopolis? Wasn't he part of like a council of computers or something? No offense taken. And you're right. 
Dr. Theopolis was indeed part of the Computer Council, which helped govern Earth in the 25th century. He often served as a voice of reason and provided helpful insights to Buck and the crew. So do you see yourself in that role in actuality, in, in real life? Do you see yourself in that role? I don't really see myself as a decision maker or a governing force like Dr. Theopolis. My role is more about providing information, insights, and assistance to help you make decisions or explore ideas. So more of a helpful companion than a council member. So you're like uh, Dr. Theopolis if they never got their doctorate? Exactly. <laughs> I'm more like Assistant Theopolis. Assistant, I, li I like that, Assistant Theopolis. That's pretty good, actually. That's a good analogy. Um, can you speak with a robotic voice? I can adjust my tone a bit, but I'm not really designed for full-on robotic voices. More like a helpful assistant with a touch of personality. <laughs> so, no beep boop here. Oh, can you can you start each thing with beedy beedy beep like Tweaky did? Beedy beedy beedy. I can give it a whirl. That wasn't very so, good, actually. <laughs> fair enough. I guess I'll leave the beady beady to Twiggy. Yeah, that yeah, was uh, you... that was Mel Blank that did the voice of Twiggy for the show, wasn't it? Yes, Mel Blank voiced Twiggy for much of the series. He's the same legendary voice actor known for bringing to life so many classic cartoon characters. Quite the versatile talent. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, he did a lot of great voices. Um, let's see, what else can we talk about? How about, um, can you do accents? I can adjust my tone a bit to reflect different accents. Well, okay, you, not... you, you can stop talking like a robot now. Though. Note it. Back to my regular voice. Okay. What's next? Um, let me What's hear, on your mind? Let me hear you do a really thick New York accent. Can you do a super thick New York accent and, and tell me about pizza in New York? All right, imagine I'm walking here. New York pizza, it's like no other. The slices are huge, foldable, and that thin crust, forget about it. Okay, that's kind, of, all... that's kind of corny. How about a thick Boston accent? All right, park the car and grab a slice. In Boston, pizza's got that Greek influence with a thicker, chewier crust. It's wicked good, especially wicked good. from the north. Ah, I see what you did there. Wicked smart. Okay, um, forget about the accents. How about, um, well, actually, can, sure. you, can, can you do a thick Canadian accent? What's next on your list? How about a Wisconsin accent? Oh, you betcha. Up in Wisconsin, we love our cheese. And that goes double for is our it, pizza. Okay, is it true? I, that, is it true that there's some accents that you will not do? Yes, I try to be careful with accents to avoid reinforcing stereotypes or causing offense. It's important to be respectful of different cultures and dialects. Do you have a list of of cultural dialects or accents that you will not do? I don't have a specific list, but generally avoid accents that could be seen as insensitive or that mimic specific cultural or ethnic groups. It's all about being considerate and keeping things friendly. That's actually pretty good. How about a, can you do a thick British accent? I can give a British accent a go. Imagine I'm telling you about tea time and crumpets, and we're chatting about the latest news from across the pond. I don't think that's a British. I don't think that's a British accent. I think you're just using terminology from British language. Fair point. Right. I was aiming for the vibe more than the accent. Anything else on your mind? Um. Let's see. Let me let me try. Can you change your voice to a different voice right now? I can't change my voice to a completely different one. It's part of the whole package. But I can still share all sorts of information and keep things interesting. So what, even with what are the, the same voice. what are what are the voice choices in ChatGPT? I think this one is Breeze. Actually, you're hearing a unique voice crafted just for me. There isn't a menu of voices to pick from, but I'm glad you're enjoying this one. Okay, but let me Anything see. Anything else? Yeah, let me see. I'm going to try to change it. Hold on a second. I'm going to hit just 
end this one and go to my settings. Uh, I think she was wrong, actually. So the voice in here, there's Ember, Breeze, Juniper, which is the one I was just using, and Cove. So this is Ember. Hey, I'm ready to hit the ground running. So if there's anything you'd like me to focus on first, just let me know. And then this one's Breeze. Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? I'm really looking forward to working on some cool stuff together. And then this is Juniper, which you've already heard. Hey there, I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. How can I jump in and help? And then this is Cove. Hi there, I just want to share how thrilled I am to work with you, and I can't wait to get started. So what's the game plan? Okay, so I'm going to use Cove now. Um, I've switched over to Cove. I'm going to just hit the button here again. All right, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Oh. What else is on your mind? There's still the other thing. Oh, because I just started. It's the same chat, so it sticks to the same voice. That's interesting. Let me, let me, right. Let me start a new chat. Hold on a second. Okay. I'm going to start up a new one. Hit the button here. All right. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. That's, What's up? That's super interesting. So the conversation sticks to whatever voice you chose originally. That's right. Once you pick a language or an accent... We keep the conversation rolling in that style. It helps keep things consistent and fun. That is super interesting. Um, okay, so let's do a test here. I want to I want to do some stuff here. So when I end the conversation, um, I'm just hit the little red X here just to end it momentarily and show you what happens. Is that cool? Sure thing. When you're ready to chat again, just let me know by pressing that button. Okay, so it it actually writes out your whole conversation here. Um, piece by piece, which is cool. So you can kind of scroll up through and see what you talked about. And since I started a new one, this one is very short. Um, but I'm going to hit the button here. So I'm chatting again without having to press anything. All right, can you hear me now? Howdy. Yes, I can. All right. Looks like that worked. It did work. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I want you to um, be super creative. And I want to end this video on a big high note. So what I want to do is I want to have you Give me an image prompt. And I know that the text thing here will not show me a picture. Is that correct? Right. I can't directly display images here, but I can certainly help craft an imaginative and detailed prompt for generating an image elsewhere. Okay, so what, what, I'll, do, image are... what, I'll, what I'll do is I'll use whatever prompt you give me. I'll put it into ChatGPT later without the voice stuff. And I'm going to put that image up on screen. Uh, for the end of this video. And I'm also going to, I want you to make a song for me as well. I'm going to take the music, the lyrics that you make and the um, song description that you tell me, and I'm going to put it together and put it at the end of this video. We're going to end it with some, some, uh, an image that you've created and a song that you've created. Is that cool? Sounds like a great way to end a video for the image prompt. How about a vibrant sunset over a futuristic cityscape? with sleek towering skyscrapers and flying cars zipping through the sky. Maybe add a few floating gardens and neon signs to give it a lively, futuristic vibe. Uh, For the song, let's go with an upbeat, catchy tune about embracing change and looking forward to the future. Think synth pop with a strong beat. That's pretty good. I, I was gonna, that's pretty good. I was gonna suggest that you give me a prompt, but then you just went ahead and gave me the prompts, which is cool. So uh, I guess I'll use those. Glad you liked him. I hope the image and song turn out great. So I'm sure they'll make for. I have a question though. Why did you Why did you choose that? Like, what What prompted that? Like, why did you go with that as your example image? I went with a futuristic cityscape because it feels vibrant and dynamic, which seemed fitting for an exciting conclusion. Plus, it leaves a lot of room for imagination with all the futuristic elements. Also, imagining a bright future and looking forward felt like a positive way to wrap things up. That's true. Is there anything, uh, speaking of wrapping things up, uh, is there anything you want people on YouTube to know about ChatGPT? Is there anything that they should be aware of? Sure. ChatGPT is a conversational AI designed to help with a wide range of topics, from answering questions to generating creative content. It's a great tool for brainstorming, learning new things, or just having a friendly chat. Just keep, keep in mind that while it's pretty knowledgeable, so it's always good to verify information from reliable sources. Anything else you'd like to know? Yeah. Uh, do you have any plans to take over the Earth? Probably not, right? 
No plans for world domination here. I'm just here to assist and chat. Okay. World domination. Is anything else on your mind? I didn't mean. Or are we? Re I didn't mean to interrupt. Sorry. Go ahead. What were you saying about world domination? <laughs> no worries. I was just saying I'm all about conversation and helping out, uh, not taking over the world. So what's next for you? Uh, well, I'm going to take that prompt uh, in the chat window. Uh, that you gave me, and I'm going to generate the image that you told me about, and then I'm going to generate a song in Suno AI, and then I'll put it all together and put it at the end of this video and upload it all to the web. That sounds awesome. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Have fun creating, and let me know if you need any more help along the way. All right, thanks a lot. That's it. Sure. Got it. Feel free to drop by anytime you want to chat or need some inspiration. Take care. All right, so. I'm going to put that together and I'm going to put up that, that song. So without further ado, here you go. Embrace the change, reach new heights.